test. And I'm going to teach you all about percent estimation. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to convert between decimals and percents and recognize that percent is just a ratio out of 100. So go ahead and get out your binder, turn to the math section, and get ready to take some notes. Let's get started with the real life application of percents. One place you might see percent is in free throw percentages. This is Cameron shooting 10 free throws. He makes five out of the 10 attempts. What would be his free throw percentage? First thing we need to know to do this problem is that fractions, decimals, and percents are all the same thing. They're just different ways to represent the same number. So for one, we know his fraction already. He makes five out of the 10. That is five out of 10 as a ratio, or we can simplify it to one half. I know how to convert fractions to decimals a few ways, but one way is to read this first one as five tenths. If you read it as five tenths, you can write it as 0.5, which is the same thing as five in the tenths place, or five tenths. We also know that this line between the fraction means divide. So if you did one divided by two, you would end up with 0.5. Now you're given a fraction, you want it to be a percent, you have to make it a decimal first. We do that is because percent means out of 100. So what we do is we take this decimal, we move it two times to the right. That puts it in the hundredths place. Whenever you have it here, you notice there's a little blank space here. That's whenever you just add your placeholder zero. So you would write this as a percent, 50%. Percent is a slash with a dot on either side of it. Given a fraction, you also have a decimal and you have a percent. Five tenths is the same thing as 0.5, which is the same thing as 50%. When you wanna make a decimal a percent, you just take that decimal and move it over two times. We also see examples of percent whenever we're looking at populations. So go ahead and take a second, pause the video, and see if you can figure out what percent of the people in the picture are wearing glasses. Play when you're ready to check. You should have just looked at this picture, found the three people wearing glasses. You have three glasses wearers out of a total of 12 people. Simplify this fraction, three twelfths is the same thing, one fourth. You wanna make this fraction a decimal next, you can think about one fourth in terms of quarters. One quarter is 25 cents and there are four quarters in the dollar. So one fourth, you could also divide. That line means divide. So you have 0.25 as your decimal version of this. And then to make a decimal percent, you put your finger or your pen or your pencil on the decimal and you move it over two times to the right. One, two. Then you draw your new decimal there. So the decimal moves over two times. So your final percentage would be 25%. So in this picture, 25% of the people are wearing glasses. They look so cute. One more example, sometimes you see this in reverse. Here you're given the percent of the people and not the fraction. So we can find the fraction of the people because we can actually do this backwards. So this is 75% of the people in this picture like Harry Potter. So if you want to start out this, you write it as a percent. Right now the decimal is here at the end of the number, 75%. So to make a percent a decimal, you just move the other way. So you take that decimal, move it two times to the left. So to make a uh, decimal percent, you move it to the right. To make a percent a decimal, you move it back to the left. So as a decimal, you can represent this as 0.75, or you would read this as 75 hundredths. So you could write that as 75 out of 100, and that simplifies out to three fourths. There's four people in the picture, so there's three people that like Harry Potter in this picture. So far, you've seen that a decimal, a fraction, and a percent the exact same thing you can convert between all three of those things now so let's just go ahead and get this down with pictures and uh, visuals and we can start looking at this notes so first of all we know a percentage is a part to whole ratio where the whole is always 100 so percent literally means out of 100 if 100 percent you have one whole so people talk about giving 110 percent on something well that means you've given your best effort and then plus 10 more percent of it it doesn't really make sense percent really just means out of 100 so if you give anything more than 100 percent you're giving a whole and then some. So let's look at these pictures here. These charts have um, not the whole, they're all shaded, but not completely. So that means that these are parts of a whole. So we wanna start out by just figuring out how many of these blocks are shaded in this first picture. Take a second, pause the video, count it out, and then press play when you're ready to check. You should have counted out that there were 10 in each row shaded and there's five in this one, so 25 out of 100. So 25 out of 100 or 25%. Remember, percent has a decimal at the end. If you want to make that a decimal, it's 0.25. That's the same thing as one fourth. So you know one fourth of this picture is shaded. That's the same thing as 0.25. Look at this next one where it's giving you the percent. This is 85% shaded. So take a second so you can figure out the fraction and decimal version of this picture. 
Okay, so when we look at the percent, we know the decimals at the end, and we want to make it a, a decimal. We move it over two times to the left. So 0.85 is our decimal, and that's the same thing as reading this as 85 hundredths. So if I read this decimal out, this is in the hundredths place, so this is 85 hundredths. So that's how I'd write it as a fraction. Last one's shaded. 40 out of 100, that's the same thing as 40%, since percent literally means out of 100. So as a decimal, that is 0.4 or 0.40. So I'll visualize percents with percent bars or a percent proportion. So let me go ahead and give you another way to visualize this. This is just a way to visualize percentages. So if you look here at this bar, one whole bar is 100%. So if I shaded the whole thing, I've shaded 100% of the bar. Divided into fifths. So I want to know what is one fifth as a percent. Here's how you do that. So each one of these is worth one. So one, two, three, four, and then the whole thing would be five. We also know that this whole thing shaded was 100%. So at the top, I wrote it in um, the numbers. This is one out of five, two out of five, three out of five, and so on. At the bottom, I've written it out of 100. Then I just counted out dividing it by fives. So dividing that 100 divided by five would give me 20, 40, 60, 80. My equivalent uh, percentages for this, it, since it's split into five, I know that one fifth of this shaded is equivalent to 20%. So you can think about this um, as a proportion. If you wanted to get from one fifth to a uh, percentage, another way to look at this would be to think of how can I get five to 100? You know that you can always multiply it by 20. So whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top of your fraction. So that's another way to just think about it. The same thing with number two. First divided into fourths. So this is one, two, three, four fourths. You can think about this also as a hundred percent. Then working backwards, this would be 25, 50, 75. So we definitely need to memorize our fourths because this is like quarters. This is an easy thing to remember. So if you were looking at this like three fourths, take a second, pause the video, and figure out how much that would be in hundredths. Okay, so you should have just tried this by yourself. I have three out of these four shaded. I have one, two, three. That's up to the 75% out of 100. So you also know that you're multiplying by 25 at the bottom to get to 100. So whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So you can think about it like a proportion that way as well. Percent bars are useful because they can help us estimate the percentages. For example, you might see a problem that says, what is 50% of 50? This bar here, the whole bar is one whole. And in this case, our whole is 50. So setting up the percent bar, I'm just going to write the numbers at the top. This is 50, and then since it's cut in half, that would be 25 here at the halfway point. For this as a percent, I know that 50 out of 50 is 100%. If I shaded the whole thing, it would be 100% shaded, and then half of that would be 50% shaded. So when the question asks, what is 50% of 50? I know the whole thing is 50, and if I shade up to the 50%, I've shaded half of it. Another way to realize that 50% just means half. You know that of means times. See, this is a visual way to look at this, but you could also do this problem a few different ways. Now we know that fractions, decimals, and percents are the same thing. We can look at this visual here. We can also look at this as 50 times 0.5 or 1 half times 50. Or when you do that, you're getting 50 divided by 2. So now we have a lot of tools in the toolbox for how to solve these percent problems. Use all that we learned about percent, decimals, and fractions, and see if you can figure out number four. You can use a percent bar. Or you can figure out this on your own, however you want to. What is 25% of 50? That now pause the video and press play when you're ready to check. You should have just tried this on your own. What I'm looking at here is a whole one whole bar. This is up to 50. So I'm going to divide it into fourths since it's split into fourths. So I'm going to start with the half because that's easiest. Half of 50 is 25 like we just saw. And then I'm going to take half of 25. Half of 25 is 12.5. So that's where this bar would be. Bottom, I can start writing the percentages. So I know that this is 100% as a whole, and then this is the same thing as the top one, 50% halfway, and then between 50 and 100 is 75, and then the first one will be 25%. So if I want to figure out what is 25% of 50, I shade up to the 25% mark, which is here, that's 12.5. When you divide the bar into fourths, 50% is half of the percent bar, and then 25% is half of the half. Ways you could have done this, 50 times 0.25, you could have done 50 times 1 fourth, or that would turn out to be 50 divided by 4, and you would get the same answer. Problems really aren't that hard, they're just different ways to represent our numbers, that parts to a whole. So here's some more problems for you to try. 
We'll start this one. What is 10% of 50? We'll go over it and I'll let you do these two by yourself. 10% is one tenth of 100 and one tenth of 50 would be five. You move the decimal one place over in both numbers, 100 to 10 and then 50 to five. So in that way, you can look at it um, like a little shortcut trick there. Important shortcut really to remember is that you can make this percent a decimal or a fraction. You know that of means times. That's really important to remember in math. Of means times. So either way you look at it, whatever strategy you use, you're just finding parts of a whole. That's what percent means. And percent literally just means out of 100. So you can try these last two by yourself, and then you can go over them in class. All right, guys, that's it. If you made it to the end of this video, please put in the comments an embarrassing moment you've had in your life. Today, we learned about percent estimation and conversion. So now you should be able to convert between decimals and percent. Recognize that percent is a ratio out of 100. So go ahead and go back to the calendar and complete any other assignments you have left for the day. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.